And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. And I looked, and behold, was death saying, come and see. History prefers legends to men. It prefers nobility to brutality. Soaring speeches to quiet deeds. History remembers the battle, but forgets the blood. However, history remembers me. Before I was a president, it shall only remember a fraction of the truth. And hell will follow me. There is darkness everywhere, Mr. Lincoln. My mother was murdered. I can see a rage burning. Tip the balance for the good of all mankind. I shall kill them all. It's time we had a nation of our own. This war ends tonight. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter is an action horror fantasy movie that was released on June 18, 2012. I know the title of this movie makes it have a fucking ridiculous concept, but let's just see if it's good. We are going to start with the story. The story follows the famous president Abraham Lincoln, who joins forces with Henry Sturges because vampires killed his mother, and Lincoln feels that Henry can take down can help him take down the vampires. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really think the story is actually pretty good. I'm fucking serious. It has decent characters like Abraham Lincoln himself, Henry Sturges, and Will Johnson, etc. I really do like how it blends the American history angle with the vampire horror mythos. It is really fucking fascinating. At first I thought incorporating the life of Abraham Lincoln into the story was kind of weird, but upon multiple rewatches, I started to realize the movie is just as about Abraham Lincoln as it is about killing vampires. They really combined these two elements so seamlessly that it works so fucking well. However, I don't think it was trying to be historically accurate. I mean, we all know that Lincoln didn't actually hunt for goddamn mythical creatures that drink blood. But they do get the basics of his life down. He was vehemently against slavery and believed that the Civil War must happen to unite the country. His wife was Mary Todd. And his mother did die when he was younger. Although, it was actually due to milk sickness rather than a vampire. But even the stuff they had to change around actually makes sense in the concept of the vi fictional vampire angle this movie is taking at the same time. Even what they did with their son... Even what they did with his son is interesting. His son is shown to be fascinated by the Civil War, which is not only cool, but gives the son a bit more personality. But the son dies because of a vampire, which motivates Lincoln to eventually come out of his retirement from vampire hunting. I also like how the movie provides a solution to killing vampires, 
Because we all know that vampires are immortal and almost impossible to kill. The movie suggests that you use silver on your weapons. Fucking genius. Not only do I think... Not only... Now, the only thing that I don't like about the story is that when Henry first hears about Lincoln's plight, he almost kind of tries to convince him that his pursuit is futile and wrong. This doesn't make sense because later it is revealed that Henry got attacked by vampires and turned into one. And they turned him into one and they killed his lover. This backstory tells me that he hates vampires and doesn't want, really want to be one. So his earlier dialogue is really goddamn confusing. Especially because after a few scenes, Henry trying to get Lincoln not to pursue his desire is completely dropped and never brought up again. Some of the earlier scenes could have been rewritten is all I'm saying. I criticize what I like because I want it to improve, even a little bit. But I really do like the ending, even though it repeats a speech from the beginning. That is all I will say about it. The action scenes are fucking awesome. There is a hell of a lot of use of an axe, 80, and even some fucking cool ways of waving it around. This is the main weapon used to kill the vampires, and of course it has silver on it. There's also some use of guns occasionally, and of course lots of blood. The scene on the fiery train bridge is a damn good climactic action scene. I even thought the scene where the people of America and the soldiers start fighting the vampires with all different kinds of silver over. It was pretty cool, albeit a little bit brief. As for the production values, the cinematography is really good. It has a mix of uh, historical tent and darkness, which works so fucking well. The editing and sound are all pretty well done too, are both the editing and sound are both pretty well done, too. The music is pretty good. While the score is forgettable, I do like the song Powerless. And I'm not even that big a fan of Lincoln Park. Abraham Lincoln is a surprise. Alright. Overall, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter is a surprisingly enjoyable movie. It has a well-done story that blends the life of, of Abraham Lincoln and the vampire hunting angle better than you'd expect. But it is complemented by good action scenes, production values, and overall being a fun movie. Yes, the screenplay could have used a rewrite, but some very minor changes were, would be necessary. I really did enjoy this movie. I give Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter 4 out of 5 stars, with the title of Awesome. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you next time. Support our troops. Chase the sun